Hey guys, Misto here, and welcome to season six of the Hundred Day Challenge, starring dun -dun 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 -dun, Weber, the Indigestible. So let's go ahead and uh, fix our map and mini map, grab some basic resources, and we'll talk about Weber, Weber as we go. Weber, oh no, we're already off to a terrible start, guys. Can't even say his name. So uh, Weber, as you can see, is a spider boy. Woo! Uh, that means he can be uh, friends to spiders. Uh, however, we are a monster. There are some good parts to that. You know, friends with spiders, able to eat our monster meat, as you see, with no penalty. We just get food from it. But, uh, creatures like pigmen, or I guess the wild boars of shipwrecked, are naturally aggressive to us. If they see us, they will attack. Uh, let's look up at our stats here. As you saw when we started, we had 175 hunger. That's pretty good. More than Wilson. Wilson has 150. Only 100 sanity. That is less than Wilson. By half. Uh, Weber has a very, very low sanity. Uh, literally the lowest sanity in the game. Uh, WX78 starts out with the same amount of sanity, but he can eat gears to restore it. And it goes up to a maximum of 300 sanity. So, uh, yeah, we're playing the character that has to deal with sanity management the most. Remember that the bad parts of sanity occur based on a percentage of missing sanity, not a flat number. So when we go down to 64 sanity, we will start seeing the, uh, the night hands that come to put out our fires. That's only... 36 sanity lost. If we lost 36 sanity on any other character, we would be okay. There's no worry. This is a very large starting island. Wow. Sorry, I got a little distracted there. And we have 175 HP, which is more than average. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, let's go ahead. Ooh, spiders on the starting island. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Guys, this is how we start a playthrough as Weber. This is how this is how we do it on this channel. This is professional game. Nope, snakes. Actually, snakes are in that one. That's the wiggling one. This one's safe. Uh, you can see them wiggle. Like that one, you even saw the snake crawl through it there. Uh, we're going to work on our raft. And uh, we're going to try to get off this island. Although, apparently, we will be back. There are spiders here. Spiders are our friends. Uh, no. So, Weber is a very unique character. Uh, let's let's talk more about his special abilities because he is a character I've only played once because he has such a uh, ridiculously unique playstyle that it simply didn't appeal to me. It was like, oh, I have to change every strategy I use in the game to play this character. I don't. That's gonna be hard. I don't want to do that. And then I just didn't do it. I just went back to playing the characters I enjoyed after I unlocked them. And, uh, you know, that's not a good way to play the game. It doesn't really... You don't master the game by mastering one character. Especially if that character is as broken as WX. Or as easy mode as uh, Maxwell is. <clears throat> so, uh, we cannot be friends with our usual pigmen. We cannot use pigmen to chop down a mass amount of wood. We're going to have to get wood on our own. Uh, the plus... The uh, counter to that is we're going to have spiders living near us. And we're not going to be slowed down by the spider web. So let's just get on this web as we can. And you see, we're okay. They don't even come out. We run at full speed. We're not slowed down. We're a monster. We're used to walking on the web. And uh, I don't know if enemies are actually slowed down by the webbing. But if they are, we could use that to our advantage. We can sleep next to spiders. That's okay. They're our friends. And uh, we start with an egg in our inventory that we're not going to use until we kind of set down our base. It guarantees us to have at least one spider living near us. Also, I don't... Is that other structures? Yeah, structures we can make our spider eggs. We can make more of these over time uh, to... Uh, just in case we get really unlucky, we can't find spiders. Can't find... Uh, I don't... Yeah, 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 if you can't find spiders. Because there's one more benefit we did not mention of Weber. We will grow a silky smooth beard over time. Uh, every three days it will go up a beard tier to the max tier. In Shipwrecked, of course, there is no 
uh, winter. There's no cold season. Uh, technically, hurricane season is classified as winter. You can get the winter hounds to spawn, but you don't get cold during the uh, the hurricane season. And uh, that means our beard is purely going to be a mechanic to let us grow our own silk on our face. Uh, when we shave it, we'll get 10 sanity and some amount of silk. I believe it's 1 for tier 1, uh, 3 for tier 2, and 6 for tier 3. Uh, we're going to have to look into that. By the end of this episode, I think we'll have grown w part of our beard. Is that two, three spiders? Oh my goodness. The game is rigged in our favor, guys. Like, spiders are usually way more rare than this in Shipwrecked, and we've found three of them on a starting island. I don't know if it actually checks if we're Dub or Weber and tries to put more of them in here, or if we're just really that lucky. Because this is a start, this is a huge, huge starting island, and we found at least three spider dens. Like, that's pretty crazy. Uh, normally, you want to get off your starting island as fast as you can. As crazy as this island is, we might even find a piece of gold, which would let us just, we just live here and wait until those spider dens uh, go all the way up. We can befriend the spiders, take down the spider nest, and then bring the eggs with us. Uh, I'm not sure how attacking a spider nest works as Weber. We're going to have to find out because, again, I've never played this character. Um... I think most of this playthrough is going to be relying on more basic mechanics. I don't have a lot of character mechanics locked down. But from what I researched, uh, Weber is an extremely basic character in spite of how fancy he seems. He's not really a late game character, he doesn't get stronger. He's not really an early game character, he doesn't start with anything exceptionally powerful. I mean, we have a little meal, we can cook these up, or we can just eat them. Uh, cooking them just makes them last a longer time. Uh, doesn't do anything else for us. We're going to make a uh, torch and run through the night. We'll lose some sanity. As you've seen, we've lost 7% of our sanity already. Let's grab these sticks. Ooh, there we go. And the torch up. Uh, we finally looped back around to where we started. And we... Is there more island up here? Oh my... Okay, no. We're finally going to end it. Ugh. I was like, what is happening? This is crazy. Uh, of course, there is no gold. I think it may actually be rigged in world generation for you to not find gold on your starting island. That would be just a little bit too easy. By a little bit, I mean extremely, extremely super easy. Uh, we're going to have to go hunt for that. But... So, we're relying on basic character mechanics. And one of my personal weaknesses is sanity management. Sanity management seems like it's going to be one of the biggest parts of playing Weber in this playthrough. And uh, that is what made me most nervous for uh, agreeing to, uh, to do this as my next character in the challenge. I mean, we're doing all of the characters eventually. We even have bees on our starting island. This is insane. We don't want to go too far. Normally, our strategy is to go to the uh, back line, because I've explained, I think, every season. World generation tends to create two archipelagos, two chains of islands. You'll have one chain of islands here, which are usually the smaller ones, but not always. And then slightly farther out, you'll have another chain of islands. Now, they could be placed like island here, here, island here, and here. It's random. No, it's some... It's basically random but generally you'll find the bigger islands with more resources out in the background but we have a very large starting island that we want to come back to like we have bees we have boxes we can break and we have a lot of spiders so we want to tend to stay near here so we're gonna try to get on the oh to feel a sharp edge against my skin what 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 Weber are you a masochist bro what what dude you have, uh, or maybe he's commenting on the fact that Weber is not actually the spider. Uh, Weber is the indigestible. That means that a spider has eaten this boy, and uh, he was unable to digest him. So they kind of became uh, Weber together, which is really cool lore. Like, I like Weber as a character. He's very cool. He's unique. And 
honestly, he's adorable. He's, just look at him. He's like the cutest character in, uh, in Don't Starve. Right? So I like I wanted him like when I unlocked him I was like oh this is gonna be so cool and then when I played him he's really he's really basic and at the same time you have to change the way you play the game to play him which sounds so uh <laughs> wrong sounds paradoxical that's the word I'm saying he's very basic and at the same time you have to change your entire gameplay style to play him. What does that even mean? I must be crazy, but hopefully you understand and I'll make it clearer. Oh, uh, possibly. Oh, this is gonna be some baby island, maybe? It has uh, this, yeah, that's all. Let's just get uh let's get the edges map so we don't check here again. Um basically you change your playstyle by not being able to ally with the usual animals. But you're gonna ally with a different type of animal. So the spiders are gonna help you fight the hounds and ooh, I do like these islands that are connected like this like these land bridges are so cool sorry so you're just allying with a different animal you're gonna ally with the let's just eat these get them out of our inventory oh look at that no HP look at those giant uh, giant hamster seeks there we go got our gold uh, we found gold fairly early on and this is good for us because we're gonna make an aggressive play but we'll talk about that after we finish our uh, Weber discussion uh, so you're allying with a different monster, a different uh, unit in the game, but it's still the same idea. It's very similar, but they're not as useful of allies. So you're kind of playing with like one, one of your eight legs tied behind your back because you you're not going to be able to get the spiders to help you chop down trees and. Especially if you're going to be building a mega base, which a hundred percent we're going to try. That's going to be like when we go into base planning, we're going to plan as if we will get to mega base this game. We're not going to make an ugly functional base like we did with WX where we just can't do that again. I do understand that because we worked really hard with our planning, the character was easier than uh, he should have been. But... We just can't do that again. We need to have more goals and more things that we can do. So we're gonna be mega basing really hard with Weber, and it's gonna be it's gonna be like Spider Topia up in this world. But even then, the Spider Topia, while really cool and unique, isn't incredibly different from you know building a pig village at your base. And that's why I'm saying he's basically the same. He's not... He just changes minor things. He's changing the coat of paint on the same car through which you drive through the game. There you go. That's... Yeah, that's a wonderful metaphor. It's almost like... That's my my uh, duty making this video is to express things properly. Whoa! Guys! This is... Amazing. This is the smallest island I've ever seen. Uh, if we like turn the camera, we can see everything. I don't even think hounds could spawn here. This should be our home. Holy crap. We should just mega base this. Make this into... Oh my goodness. I want this. I want this more than I should. Seeing this tiny island, I want to pave all of these. Every... Oh. Oh, guys. This is not a good place for a base. There's no reason to be here. And yeah, yeah, we're going to be back here. We're going to be back here unless we find something, you know, standardly good. Sadly, we will have to, uh, man, there's probably no way we can do that. I want that to be a base, though. That is a great, great place. Uh, we still haven't chopped down any wood. Where's our music? Wow, the game is so quiet right now. I hope that the audio didn't glitch up. Uh, it says it's still recording. Maybe it's my headphones got plugged out. Uh, yep, that is exactly what happened. Somehow, my headphones have fallen out. Oh, there we go. All right, back to being able to hear what we're doing. Uh, we're going too close to our island. We actually want to tend up this way. Is that a message in a bottle? <gasps> Give us a direction on our exploration. All right, so... Uh, I think 
I've kind of expressed how... Oh, that's the skull. Hundred... Whoa. God, I hate that. That's 100% the skull. You can see the eyes. That's the nose. We know the set piece like the back of our hand. And we're... That's probably the outer chain of islands. We're still going there. We're going to head straight there. Um, yeah, it's kind of, ooh, kind of against the current, but we're fine, we're fine. Almost time for bed. Uh, can you, can we find land before then, though? Like, I don't want to sit out here with a torch in the middle of the waves. That's not a good time. We could go back to that awesome island. That's amazingly tiny. I am, I am irrationally excited about that tiny island. You don't really see them that small. Like, that small. Oh, maybe that's a specific set piece, like a one tree island as a joke. But, oh man, I am... No, don't do this, Weber. That's not what we want. Oh, I really want to build there. Let's just get all the gold from uh, Skull Island, come back there, and just build everything we need to survive. We'll just plant a million butterflies, and then we'll catch the butterflies with our own silk made from our face. And maybe we'll never have to fight hounds. Maybe they'll be forced to spawn as sharks, which will circle the base, and we'll never leave the base, and we'll just eat butterflies. That oh, ooh, waves are going in our favor. Um, we might be spending the night at sea. I really hope we can make it to an island. The water is getting more shallow. If we follow, kind of heading towards what would be the center. Oh no, this is gonna bring us to coral. Coral! At least in the coral, we won't have to fight the waves. Uh, they don't generate here, so they'll kind of end. Um, yeah. It's gonna be our home for the night. That sucks. Yup. What we can just eat? Can we eat this? No. Okay. We can eat these. Just get food in our mouth. Oh, yeah. Get in my belly. We have such a big belly. We can just eat all of those and clear up the inventory slot. Go ahead and make another torch. This torch will not last the night. Can't make a boat torch. Uh, we could slowly move at the cost of a lot of sanity. Where is my torch? Why didn't auto equip? Oh my goodness, his sound is really weird. He's talking. Uh, man, that. Why did our thing not equip? Where? Why do we have two sets? I guess we. Man, we picked over 40 grass on our day one. That's pretty crazy. We should have focused more on twigs. You just. Grass is useful when you start setting up drying racks, but it's not early game. It's just you need twigs. It's not nearly as useful as twigs early game. Uh, you could make a lot of traps. Traps, of course, require twigs too, but I think it's what, two to three ratio. Like we need, um, how far away are we? Oh, pretty far. Whoa, what is that? That's us. Whoa, that's us. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, I think it's a two, six, six, uh, grass. So a one to three ratio is what I meant. Uh, now here is some fog. We might find some, um, what is it, uh, shipwrecked? No. Oh, I always forget the name of the really dark seas. Here's an island. This is not the same island unless it's a really big one. Or it could be coral. could be a really big island. Coral! And see, we're wet and nothing's happening. There is no downside to this tiny bit of wetness. Amazing how that works. Now, uh, our early game plan to fix sanity is going to feed into our uh, aggressive plan for this season. We'll pick a couple of these, but we really just want to explore, so I shouldn't be stopping. There's a lot of these guys. We could, uh, we could hunt them down. We could, put, we could just put traps here. We could intentionally go insane, get beard hair. No, nah, beard hair wouldn't be good yet. We would have to get all the way to uh, science tech, and there's no way to do that. Ooh, here's a cool little set piece we could just hang out at. Like that'd be a nice little place to live for now. Uh, this does look like it's a separated island. Uh, and of course with- no, no, it might be connected. Uh, yeah, I think it's connected. Uh, those magma turfs there can be turned into- what? There's two of these next to each other? What is up with this world gen, guys? This- you can- what? This is crazy. This is, this is pretty awesome world gen. If we were any other character, I'd be fairly confident. But, uh, we're gonna fight. We're gonna do our best on this character. Get this, get this, get this. Oh, no. On guard. Control. Okay. We're gonna chase it down. Very slowly. We're, uh, we are professional butterfly hunters. Gotcha. That'll give us our, uh, hunger. 
Butterflies are insane. Here's a doy doy. We get one of the doidos. Man, with our luck, the other doido is gonna be on this island. Or right next door. One of these things will happen. Uh, no more gold. I thought you were gonna be gold. You were a rock in the jungle. But then you were just Hey, there's gold. Woo woo. And uh, we don't actually need this gold because we're about to get a ton of gold. Uh, it is time to start chopping down trees. This is gonna be our temporary base. We're gonna set up here for a bit. Uh, the reason we're gonna do this is because we are at the set piece that. Uh, spoiler alert, murdered Wendy. Uh, we had too much fun blowing up these piles, and as a result, we got punished. Uh, there's always an X marks a spot in the skull guy's nose. You just gotta find the uh, thing leading you to it, the message in a bottle. But uh, yeah, there's always one of these. It is part of the world gen. You will always have this set piece. Uh, I think it always has some gold sitting around, unless monkeys have picked it up, or the doido has eaten them. As you see, there's tons of flint, tons of rock, everything you really need. This is honestly a good set piece. Like, if you find a thing that leads you here, that's pretty insane. And we have these two uh, set pieces next to each other, giving us the, uh, no, two of the things that we're just not going to use. It's not part of this uh, challenge. So we need to work on wood. Just chop down one full-size tree, and uh, we'll get three pieces. We won't be able to dig it up yet, so which means we need to chop down two trees. Uh, hopefully we just don't get any snakes. Just don't want to deal with them. Of course. They're just slowing us down. We want to finish this, this episode. But no. No one gets to be happy. No one gets what they want. Gosh. This one's going to have two snakes, by the way. Spoiler alert. Hey, it didn't. Whew. Good. Uh, we should probably plant those, but we really just want to get our science machine down. And, uh, yeah, now we already have four gold. Wow. What are we going to do on this island? Guys, like, this is a pretty insane place to be. We want to go back to this place. Oh, yeah. And then we want to get these spiders and stuff. Oh, we could just... As much as I want to live here, there's just no way. There's no way. We're going to have to... We're going to try to mega base up here, I think. And uh, we're going to start doing that pretty early on. We can use this gold to tech up. As you see, we're already seeing uh, those guys skip past us. I talked about our sanity plan uh, melding in with our aggressive plan, but that did not work out. There are no seashells on this beach that we saw. Uh, we were going to pick a bunch of seashells and start trying to make a... What's a majigger? What's a matalit? Wow, making that joke about not knowing what it was, I actually forgot what it's called now. We were going to make a armored boat, an armored boat using the tin seashells. But uh, that's just not uh, working in our favor. There's some gold. Wonderful. And uh, we'll just blow this so we can't actually get to that, I don't think. Uh, of course, these can all spawn crishers. They could all spawn no crishers. It's just luck of the draw. Uh, after your second dig up, if you see a gold, you should grab it. That way it doesn't get blown away. Uh, I think there's one there. It's really hard to tell. These piles are really cool to blow up. Oh, there's one gold. We'll get that. There's two gold. Woo! Don't take any damage. And, uh, these rocks, these gold, these are gonna help us tech up. And I guess, I guess we can gig up the X marks a spot. Woo! Guys, guys, we're gonna do it. We found a gear, we found a boat repair kit. We have a gold machete, guys. Oh my goodness, guys, sorry to pause again. Oh, we're gonna do what I don't wanna do. Well, let's not die. We can already make a fridge. We have a boat repair kit, which means we could go hunt the Quacken next episode in the early early mild season get whatever he gives us we have a boat repair kit um we can make a rowboat most likely i don't think we can get to an armored rowboat just because we don't have any uh seashells here we could go over to another island back to our home maybe but we're gonna we're gonna do it i'm not gonna we're not gonna leave you hanging all right redemption equip this Ugh, that's not even close. Take that bird. Yeah, we got most of them. We got most of them. 
Uh, I don't feel comfortable with these things next to me. But we got a gear, which is really good. Oh my gosh, monkeys, go away. You're going to ruin my happy little set piece here. Oh no, monkeys. Oh, there's a lot there. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. We can do it. We can do this. Where's our thing? Light it up. Oh, oh, run away just really far. This is ridiculously far. There's no reason to be that far. But uh, once burned, twice shy is the expression where I come from. Oh, don't get damaged. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of gold from that. <laughs> We got a lot of gold to start with. This gold will go away really fast if we start using it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tech up to... Do we have any reason to tech up to the next thing? We could just prepare for our Quacken fight. Uh, we do have bamboo here. We have vines. We have a lot of grass in our inventory already. I wish we had those seashells. Are there? Do you think there are enough over here? We could actually count them. You know what? That's definitely enough. We're going to... We're going to go back to this island, pick a bunch of seashells. Uh, we can hammer down these boxes to get uh, planks, which will let us make the next uh, the next boat, which means we do need to tech up all the way to uh, the next tier. Let's get a lot of these rocks. We can go ahead and make a permanent fire here. It'll be a bit easier because we only have the two wood. <laughs> so can't really make much. We're going to have to chop more trees. Oh, trees. And we gotta find a way to get rid of that other bomb. You know what? That other bomb is going to the monkeys. That other bomb is going to the monkeys, guys. We're gonna get... We don't like them. Don't like them. Don't like them. Uh, I wonder if they'll attack us. We are a monster. I don't know about them. Where did I put our axe? There it is. And I left a shovel over there, even though we could have used it on the trees. That's fine. There's some doubloons, which we should take before the monkeys do. We even have a chest to put them in. Uh, this episode is about to come to a close, and uh, we we're in a good place. We're not. This is not going to be our home. This is just uh, an outpost, as I call it when I play other characters. We're going to tech up here. We're going to get strong, and next episode we're going to start trying to spawn the Quacken. Uh, of course, there's a chance he won't spawn, and uh, that will make us sad. But we would like to fight him, and we're going to try. We're going to tech all the way to Armored Boat. And uh, give it the old college try in the next episode. Uh, for now, let's just start making our science engine. we got to make uh, electrical doodad. We can get these down. Actually, we can go ahead and make this boat because we're going to need it. <laughs> electrical doodad. No, there's no time. All right. And as you see, oh, see, there's our beard. Start of day four. Boom. All right, guys. Uh, we're off to an interesting start. It's different than we have had with a lot of other characters. We've started out with a lot of gold, and this is going to feed into our hyper-aggressive strat. Uh, we want to go just fight the Quacken and see what we can get. Uh, you're guaranteed a Thistlite Crown. If we get a Walking Stick, that would be amazingly helpful, as always. If we get a Volcano Staff, we're just going to leave it in the box, because we're not dying that way. Uh, we've redeemed ourselves from Windy. We have successfully used the coconades. Or the... No, those are obsidian grenades. Sorry. The obsidian grenades without killing ourselves. Woo! Go us. And uh, we're going to try to fight the Quacken. We're going to do that. Uh, we're going back to the aggressive plans that we did with Maxwell, who I consider an early game character. Weber is not an early game character, in my opinion. But uh, we're still going to we're still gonna try this. And uh, if we succeed, we're going to come home and we're going to start mega basing, possibly on this island. Uh, also, we're going to throw a grenade at the monkeys. Hopefully, they don't throw it back at us. If they do, honestly, that's going to be just gold. That is golden material if the monkeys can throw a grenade back at you and I die from that. I, I, am, I would be very proud to die that way. Anyways, guys, if you like the video, if you like in the new season please hit that like button. If you want to start a conversation with me, uh, please leave me a comment down below. And as always, if you would like to continue surviving together, please hit that subscribe button and you'll be automatically updated anytime I upload a new video. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Otsukare samadas.